I have here a question on uniform distribution. Let's get started. A variable x has a uniform distribution on the interval from 27 to 87. So we have a, we have a uniform distribution, which means from the interval from 87 or 27 to 87, 27 to 87, it's going to be roughly a square in shape, which means if we did width times height, we would have to get an area of 1 if it were to be a uniform distribution. Now the first question asks, what is the height of the density curve for x? So it wants to know what the height is right here of this uniform distribution. So in order to solve this part of the question, we need to do 87, subtract 27, and get 60. Now we know that, now we know the width. The width is 60. So the question is, what do we need to multiply this by in order to get one. Well, if we solve for x, we're going to have to, x is going to be 1 over 60. And that would be our height, because if we multiplied 60 by 1 over 60, we would get 1 as the area of this uniform distribution. Therefore, the answer is going to be... So the next question is, what is the probability of getting something between the range 39 to 61? Well, first, we have to, so that would be roughly around this area here to maybe, maybe right here. In order to solve this, we have to do 61 subtract 39, of which we get 22. Now, what we're trying to find here is the area within. So if I were to draw this out here, what we're trying to find in order to get the proportion is this entire area within this one range. So in order in order to do that, we know that we know the height, right? It's going to the height we found to be one over sixty. And since it's width times height in a uniform distribution, this is going to be the height. The width is going to be the answer we just found, which was twenty-two. So that width multiply the height is going to give us the proportion within this, this distribution right here, which gives me an answer roughly zero point three six six seven if we were to give this in four decimal places. So this will be my answer over here. The next question is, what is the probability of getting something greater than 46? So we're trying to find the proportion between 46 and the limit of the uniform distribution, which would, right here is going to be 87. Because if you recall, it is only a uniform distribution from 27 to 87. Therefore, we're, whenever we're trying to find the probability of getting something greater than 46, I, we assume that it's going to be from 46 up to 87. And over here would be the 27. So we're trying to find this area right here. So anything greater than 46 going up to 87. Now in order to do that, we're going to be doing 87 subtract 46, which gives us 41. Then we take that 41. 41 is going to be the range right here. The range is also the width, remind you, therefore. And we know the height it is 1 over 60. And now the next step is going to be 41 multiply 1 over 60 to get the area, the proportion in here which gives us an answer of 0 0.6833. So that's going to be our answer right over here, 0 0.6833. The next question is, what is the value b such that the probability of getting b is going to be less than x and less than 81.81 .81 having an equal something? Well, when we're normally finding the probability of something occurring within stuff, we usually do 80, the first thing right here, subtract the beginning one to get some sort of range. Now, if we actually did that, it would be 81.81 subtract b is going to be equal to 0 0.7004. But if, you're, if you recall, this would just give you the width. And in order to get a, an actual proportion or probability, we also need to multiply it by the height. The height we have is 1 over 60. Now it's just a matter of solving for b. So we do this value over here, divided by 1 over 60. Then we rearrange it again and have 81.81 .81 subtract 0 0.7004 divided by 1 over 60, which is going to be the height. And all of this would give you the answer b. So if we went through with this calculation, we would get a b value that's equal to 39.7860, since we're going to be putting it into four decimal places. So that's going to be our answer right over here. Okay, well, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments section below. I'll, I will do my best to answer them, and have a nice day.